This is a custom script built in Google Apps Scripts that lets you automatically pull data from Google Search Console so that you can spend less time doing this and more time doing this. Or, well, if you're building a business, probably more time strategizing. Let's be real though, this is what you'd rather be doing. But what you didn't know is that you don't need to know how to code to automate these data pulls. How, you might ask? Well, it all has to do with these nifty custom sidebars that you can build right into your Google Sheet. I'll tell you more about that later on. But first, what's even the point? Why should you even care about automating how you pull data from Google Search Console? Well, let's look at Stan. He works in a small startup and is in charge of the company's SEO. And like any other startup, he's also on the hook for a bunch of other things. Things that he barely has time to focus on because he spends way too much time manually pulling data from Search Console. If Stan had it his way, he would spend his days thinking about strategic ways to improve his website's organic traffic so that the business can grow like a hockey stick and maybe eventually get a nice payout from all his efforts, which would let him spend some well-deserved time doing this. But since he's spending most of his time doing the grunt work of pulling data to analyze, he barely has any time to focus on SEO at a strategic level. You might be thinking that Stan should just focus on the strategic plans and analyze the data later. And though that's what many companies do, it's not ideal if you want to be data-driven and beat the competition. After all, it's called search engine optimization because you're constantly optimizing your website to appear higher in the search results. There are many ways to improve your SEO. Some of the most important aspects being great content that your audience finds valuable, structured data that the Google bot can read, and also backlinking to earn yourself a badge of authority as a topic expert. And since these aren't secret techniques, the competition can be brutal, which is why it's important to always have a pulse on your SEO performance. This includes keeping track of how often your website shows up for your targeted keywords, how often users click through to your website, and most importantly, where you show up in the search results. Why would where you show up be so important? Well, think about the last time you did a Google search and which results you clicked on to find the information you wanted. It was probably one of the first few results. Recent studies show that the first result gets clicked on around 28% on average, the second gets around 15%, the third around 10%, and it just keeps dropping as you go down the list and even more so on any page other than the first page. Okay, so it sounds like Stan just needs to ensure that he's always at the top of the results by focusing on the three things I mentioned earlier. The problem with that though, is that any improvements you make takes time to build up on Google search. So not only do you have to keep an eye on your stats, but you also need to keep track of when you made changes to ensure that you're attributing any positive or negative growth to the changes you've made. And in order to do that, you can't just rely on the Search Console UI since there's no way to leave notes, which brings us to downloading the data into a spreadsheet and marking off the weeks where you made a change. As you can imagine, that's time consuming and things can get messy if you're constantly downloading data from Search Console and merging it with your prior spreadsheet. For someone like Stan, who wears many hats at a startup, this puts a huge burden on him since he'll need to spend time every week to pull the data, clean it, merge it, and finally analyze it before deciding on his next move. But wait, there's another thing you didn't know. And it's that Google Search Console has a two day delay on all metrics, meaning no matter what you do, you can't get a full picture of last week's performance until the Wednesday of the following week. Or in other words, Stan would have to schedule his data work towards the end of the week, which can make those days especially stressful. I sure love to be stressed out right before the weekend. All right, so what can Stan do to stay organized, keep track of everything, and still have time to focus on his SEO strategy without being burnt out? The answer is the Search Console API, which lets you programmatically pull data for a website that you're managing. Luckily for Stan, he found a video on how to set up a basic API pull for all the data he wants. With this setup, Stan is now getting his SEO metrics automatically pulled into his Google Sheet. Now, the automation he set up is saving him plenty of time every week, but since it's a basic API call, it still runs the risk of duplicating data if it's run more than once a week. Not to mention, since it's a weekly job, Stan can miss a week's worth of data if the job fails. Don't get me wrong, it's a huge improvement from where we started, but Stan can't get to doing this, or even this, if he needs to check in once a week. To help put Stan's mind at ease, we'll need to have this automation run multiple times a week without duplicating data. 
This concept is basically creating multiple points of failure as opposed to a single point of failure. The main hurdle with running the automation multiple times a week is making sure that the script is smart enough to recognize when it needs to add a new row and when it needs to replace one. To do this, we just need to grab the period start and period end dates from the spreadsheet and compare it against the current run. If there's a match, we'll replace that row's data. If there's no match, we'll add in a new row. And to keep things neat and organized, we'll even go the extra mile and auto sort the spreadsheet to make locating the latest data even easier. Now that the data is flowing into the Google Sheet on a daily basis, Stan can relax knowing that the chances of an error occurring is little to none. But wait, Stan is still the only one in the company who can manage this automation, making him a single point of failure for the company. And in a startup, that can be fatal if Stan wins the lottery and decides to spend the rest of his days doing this. To get around siloed knowledge like this, we're going to take this solution one step further with a custom sidebar UI, and we're going to make it intuitive enough for anyone to set up this automation regardless of their coding skills. All they'll need access to is the Google Search Console along with the website URL that they're managing. As long as you know those two things, all you need to do is to open up Google Sheet, go into your app script editor, copy and paste the code into the editor, refresh your Google Sheet, and then open up the custom menu option. From there, you'll just add in the website URL, the sheet that you want the data to flow into, and then manually run the script to authorize it for the first time. Once you do that, voila, you'll have a fully automated solution for bringing in Google Search Console data into a Google Sheet with minimal failure points so that you can spend more time doing this instead of this. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this new format. It took me a while to figure out a good mix of story and education in order to make the video more engaging. Now, a couple of key things to remember uh, when you're setting up this automation is that you'll need a Google Cloud account uh, as well as a Google account, both of which are really easy to set up. And then you'll also need to make sure that your website is linked to your Google Search Console, which could be a little bit more tricky if you haven't done that before. But not to worry, check out the description for some helpful links on how to do that as well as a link to the base code, which I provided for absolutely free. And since I spent a long time building the leveled up version with the customized UI, I'm also gonna make that available at an affordable price. And that'll also come with a video tutorial on how to get that all set up. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching through to the end. I have one more secret to let you know, and that's that I've left seven clues throughout the video that when you combine them, creates a promo code that'll give you a 100% discount on the final build. However, that promo code only works for the first 10 people, so you have to move fast if you wanna get the leveled up version for free. Not to worry if you miss out on that though, uh, after the first 10 people, everybody else will just get 50% discount using that same promo code. And if you can't afford the final build, don't worry, the base code is still absolutely free. The link will be in the description, so make sure to check it out, download it, and install it for yourself. But, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.